Hey, what's up everyone? Paul from Grand House Funhouse, and in this video, I'm going to review the 1966 Z-Grade Monster Flick Sting of Death, which had its world premiere of its newly restored 2K transfer from Arrow Video at this year's online edition of the Fantasia Film Festival. This is what I love and look forward to from Fantasia each year, the older movies their film selection people will include in the lineup, and uh, my body and soul was ready for this drive-in movie schlockfest. It's about a group of uh, students vacationing in the Florida Everglades that comes up against a mad marine biologist assistant who transforms himself into a human jellyfish monster hybrid because amongst other things they hurt his fragile feelings but also he's in love with the Karen. This was directed by Florida Schlockmeister William Graffay uh, who gave us such classics as Dead Curse of Tartu which was double bill with Sting of Death about zombified witch doctors, we have homicidal hippies in 1968, The Hooked Generation, and 1972, Stanley, about a young man back from Vietnam who lets his rattlesnake loose to take revenge on all those who wronged him, and uh, that's just to name a few. This was my first encounter with Mr. Graffet's work. I'm not that into kitschy 50s and uh, 60s aquatic horror monster movies. I'm guessing this was the uh, first jellyfish monster movie and probably the last. Uh, it seemed inspired by uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon, but it does have one thing different from these kind of movies that it was shot in the Everglades, which you don't see that much used as a location, unless I missed a slew of Everglades set movies. Uh, you can let me know in the comment section below. But yeah, it's about a marine biologist with his daughter Karen back home in the Everglades, who's invited all her college senior and grad student buddies to uh, come down to a shindig by the pool with these uh, so-called students that all look like they were well into their 30s. Uh, there's also Egon, the Marines biologist assistant, who creeps out all the ladies with his uh, scarred face and uh, the fact that he invades their personal space. Uh, it is also sweet on Karen, who defends him to her friends as being uh, harmless. And there's bland, handsome white guy, who's also sweet on Karen and another assistant of uh, Marine biologist dad. So uh, the sheriff comes by for a visit, wanting to talk business with the dad about missing fishermen's. Uh, he brought a dead body with him. It's one of said missing fishermen's. Uh, the sheriff wants him to look at the body and concludes that the fisherman was stung by a Portuguese men o' war, which uh, are related to the jellyfish and is infamous for its sting being very painful. Uh, then we're told that Egon, who does fancy himself a biologist as well, knows a way to create a giant men o' war. That's the monster set up right there. Then Karen's buddies arrive and we're already having scenes of them dancing it up. So many ass shaking shots doing the twist and a conga line, but also a new dance that was not sweeping the nation at the time. The uh, Jellyfish from the all time 60s classics Do the Jellyfish by Neil Sadaka. Uh, let me read you some of the lyrics from this masterful piece of songwriting. Monkey. Don't be a donkey, it's nothing like the monkey, it isn't funky or anything that's junky, it's something sweller, weller, you got a jella or you're not a fella, the jilla jella jellyfish. And scene. So after breaking a sweat, uh, shaking it up, uh, they decide for no good reason at all to bully Egon because, you know, he looks different with them uh, face scars, so they circle around him to taunt him. Just so mean of those students. We're over the 30 minutes mark when we finally see the jellyfish monster from neck on down. It's just a guy in a wetsuit where we see his ankles uh, peeking from uh, wearing flippers. So obviously everyone panics. Uh, they get back on the boat that brought them here, but uh, jellyfish monster sinks it up and blurred plastic bags posing as jellyfishes. That's where the budget went, I think. Uh, shows up and attacks them, which uh, resulted in so many dead bodies just floating around after the jellyfish carnage that no one takes care of. That was just crazy. From then, we get a pointless scuba diving scene to find uh, Karen who went missing, where we see them dive in the low-level green bottom of the Everglades to the deep blue waters from the bottom of the ocean, because, you know, that's how it works. We get a long, interminable airboat ride of uh, the dad and bland white guy, sweet on Karen, in hot pursuit of the jellyfish monster. Uh, we find out who the jellyfish monster is, and it's a mind blower, I tell you. I was shocked. Uh, we go to Egon's underwater lab where we get the full transformation scene. At first, it looks like jellyfishes jellied all over his face, just like dripping of it to a man in a wetsuit with a giant inflated transparent plastic bag on his head. 
Seriously, you couldn't ask for a better human jellyfish monster hybrid look. Just a mwah. <laughs> Bland white guy, sweet on Karen, fights jellyfish monster to the death. Uh, guess who wins? As we see Karen inexplicably still wanting to save Egon's life, but uh, sadly it was not to be. Uh, that about sums it up. A few more things. I like how at the beginning of the movie they set up a bruise on the dad's forehead. Uh, that looks like an oil spot for some reason. And throughout the movie it just uh, changes shapes and sizes. I just thought that was funny. And uh, like I said at the beginning, uh, this is a restored version of the movie, a 2K transfer from the uh, original 35mm negative. It's part of a box set Arrow video we'll be releasing on November 24th, which you can pre-order right now. Title, He Came From The Swamp, the William Graffet collection. Uh, other movies included will be The uh, Hook Generation, The uh, Psychedelic Priest, uh, The Naked Zoo, Mako, Jaws of Death, uh, Whiskey Mountain, and the documentary They Came From The Swamp about uh, Mr. Graffet's oeuvre. So would I recommend Sting of Death? If you're into kitschy 60s monster movies, absolutely. It's not my go-to genre, but if it's always as hilariously awful as this, I would definitely give it more of a chance. Uh, don't let the bland dialogue and awful acting and ludicrous looking monster deter you from watching it. I actually admire the uh, can-do spirit of Mr. Griffey's work in this with the uh, let's do what we can with the no budget we have and they came up with this. I love the Everglades setting, uh, the crappy half wetsuit half trash bag as the monster's heads look. And now I'll have the do the jellyfish song stuck in my head for the next couple of weeks. I'm giving this cis plastic bags out of 10. So that was my review for Sting of Death. If you like this, please like, share, and subscribe. Check me out on Instagram at Grand House Fun House where I post on the daily. I'm on Reddit now at Grand House Fun House where I'll share news of the day, special events coming up, new Blu-ray announcements, all that good stuff. So go check that out. In the comment section below, let me know your thoughts on Sting of Death. As it made a half man, half jellyfish monster movie lover out of you, do let me know. Uh, more Fantasia 2020 movie reviews in the works, so come back soon. Thank you for watching, and I'll say to you, ciao bye for now. Do it now, do the jellyfish. Whoa.